Before we get started, I just have a couple of quick safety-related announcements. If things get a little bit out of hand, there are big red fire extinguishers by both of the doors on either side. And if things get completely out of hand, like last time, that's what's annoying, uh, the emergency exit is right there. You just down the stairs, go in the parking lot, wait for the fire department to show up. They get here in about three minutes, usually. So this is our presentation on the science of applied structural drying. So if you're an insurance adjuster, this is accredited for one hour of CE optional. Make sure Valerie gets your license number so we can report it to the state for you. And I know we have some people here in real estate too. The number one cause of damage to somebody's home is water. It's some sort of a leak or some sort of a flood. So if you are in real estate, a little bit of background on how you can dry a home out might be helpful to you as you're dealing with your clients. So that's been an overview. This presentation is designed to give you an overview of the scientific principles that are applicable to drying out a water damaged building. That's what we do at VetCorp. And it's the intent of this just to help increase your understanding of how this magic happens. Now, as we go through, there's three main areas we're gonna focus on. First is psychrometry, which is what I'm gonna cover, followed by the principles of drying and evaporation potential, which is Scott's universe. Okay, so psychrometry. It's a field of engineering, an engineer in the audience, and it's concerned specifically with a tiny little piece of engineering, and that's the interaction of gases and vapors. Believe it or not, there's an entire field of engineering for just the interaction between gases and vapors, psychrometry. Now, when you're drying out a water-damaged building, obviously the gas in question is gonna be water vapor, and, I'm sorry, the gas is going to be air, and the vapor in question is going to be water vapor. That's what we deal with. Uh, also called hygrometry or psychrometrics, notice the R, it is not to be confused with psychometrics. Psychometrics is a branch of ESP where the complete history of an item can be divined by touching it. So if any of you brought an antique pocket watch or another antique and were hoping that Scott or I could tell you the history of that object by placing our hands on it, you're gonna be really, really disappointed. And even if you showed up for a fascinating lecture on psychrometry, you may still leave really disappointed. It's been known to happen. So psychrometry was pioneered by this chap right here. This is English chemist John Dalton. He lived from 1766 to 1844, which is a really long life for the 18th century. And uh, he developed the law of partial pressures. And this is the scientific law on which all of structural drying is actually based when you really dig into it. And in addition to having this nice Napoleon kind of uh, pose for his portrait, a couple of interesting things about John. He was a Quaker and, you can't see it, and there's the eyes on the picture, but he was actually colorblind. Could not divine different colors from each other. And that is to me just the most amazing coincidence ever because for those of you who don't know, Scott Walden over there is colorblind. <laughs> and believe it or not, I actually started my day with a bowl of all right. I know, I, I know, it always gets a groan, but look, you know, it's product placement. They sent us a check for 27 cents every time we do this presentation, and we got a lot of shiny equipment to pay for, all right? So.